scrolling. Yep. Take three. This is how YouTube works. This is how it really works. It was such a brilliant idea. I, I, it was so smooth. So smooth, so easy. I was just ahead. But then we discovered recordings. Just, nope, nothing, not happening. Oh, crud. Well, we basically said we'd start the race when we started recording, so... I've got an issue with my rocket, which developed since yesterday. The decoupler force throws the top section of the rocket completely off kilter. But I can't find a decoupler which uses less force. They've all got the same sort of decoupler force. Unless I use like a really poxy little one, which looks stupid and would be too weak. We've got a normal decoupler, the bottom half of the rocket. I think I'm going to fire the rocket at exactly the same time as the decoupler and hope to God that that stabilises the rocket again quickly. That's all I can do. Yeah, that, that's a key thing that we need to cover for the third time. The only conditions on this are race to the moon. Land on the moon and be able to take some kind of scientific reading as if it were the first moon landing. No mods. No, no mods. The original one was we had to build the rockets as well. We literally said go and build a rocket. But as you can't really ad lib, <gasps> I've never seen you do that before. We decided for the second and third attempts that we'd just load the rockets. And in the second attempt, I came across a flaw with mine. I was so preoccupied on doing as well as I did last time, I forgot to deploy the solar panels on my pod and got into a place where I could get into orbit around the moon and discovered I had no battery power in my unmanned craft. Dead in space. Literally dead in space. Start again from scratch. Launch. Bit climbing. I sat around on the launch pad for a while, very, very uncertain about what I'm doing. But I'm now going up, suffering the same problem as ever. Pitch and yaw are just going wee woo wee woo wee, just like the rocket can't quite keep itself straight. I must sound so mature doing that. There is a very minor delay between what he says and what I can see, because we can see each other's screens. And he, he, I can hear him panic. And then I look at the screen and go, what exploded? What exploded and can I overtake him? Because I'm naturally behind now, because... Minecraft 1. This, this is you proving to everybody watching that while I was at work all day, you were practicing. I don't know. Mine's just called Light Lifter Mark 1. Right, throttle down a bit. Gravity turn like crazy. Throttle up to keep the gravity turn stable. I'm just saying words. I don't know what I'm on about. Lucky you, my apoapsis is climbing 17,000 meters and raising. Why have I got no altitude? Last time, not recording, just testing. 30,000 meters, easy at this stage. I'm only just getting to 20,000, I've got no fuel. Oops, I really hope that doesn't show up on the recording. Whoa, dude. No, this is race to the moon. This isn't 
let's do professional trip to the moon. This is race to the moon. I'm I'm hope I I'm about to do my separation and nothing exploded. No. Uh, uh no, look at the nav ball. It did veer it has veered quite badly, but because the engine was fired immediately, it's managed to get itself back on track. You, you've seen my my idea of an orbit, and you you have no idea what wonky really is. Oh, actually, actually, that's pretty square, pretty square. Debris, 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 debris. Lots of debris. Some debris right out in space. That's, I hope that comes down at some point. Whoa, seventy-seven thousand meters. Though I'm at the right altitude, I've got a fair amount of fuel. I'm making all my viewers dizzy by going in and out of the map so quickly it gets really confusing. Oop. Yeah. Don't time warp. Never time warp. <laughs> I miss things. I miss things when I'm not time warping. Oh, well, welcome to my world. Not out of the atmosphere yet, am I? Oh no, 65. 65's pretty good. Right, and as I'm out of the atmosphere, I'm going to flick my resources tab open, zoom in on my very dark rocket, and extend the goddamn solar panels before I fail. Robotic lander. Puny rockets, no generators. Got to be solar powered. Right, I'm going to point it in the right direction. Burn. As I come up to my apoapsis. Hoping that I can make that into an orbit. Trouble is, I have a very, very weak engine on this. Very weak. Anyone who's played Kerbal Space Program a lot will know the four micro engines on the actual lander will turn out a lot more power than the actual engine I'm using at the moment to get into orbit. But hey. No, any advice that we give you is worth exactly what you paid for it. Zilch. We're not good at this. If we ever give the impression of being good at this, we've copied someone. Or we're drunk, because there is that thing where you're drunk to the point where you become perfect, but it's so hard to balance, yeah, we'll never get there. I'm coming up on my apoapsis again, ready to do this. That's fine. You'll get there. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, I, I have a problem. You've got a manned rocket with RCS on it. I've got a puny little probe that no one can see because it's dark. I've got no turning torque whatsoever. So if I want to reposition, it's hard work. It really is. I'm burning at the apoapsis and turning this into an orbit. I'm, I think I'm managing it. I haven't got a periapsis appeared just yet, but I'm hoping it does. I've got 86 on the apoapsis, and periapsis has appeared. Whoa, stop with the engines. 80 and 97. That's a very low orbit. It's as circular, it's as, circular as I'm getting. <laughs> For, I don't know, no, for our standards, it's a very good orbit. But I need to get to the moon, not into orbit. And oh no, I'm virtually next to the moon. Where can I do a, a, a maneuver that will get me to the moon? Whoop, wrong way. Wow. 
Well, that's not good either. Ding, 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 ding. Whoops. Now, hopefully that is fairly... That's fairly reasonable. I've got a fairly level orbit here. I might get a, I might get a really decent encounter. Oh, I, I do actually come out a little bit above the moon. I'm trying to pay as little attention to you as possible. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that maneuver node because I know that my lander has got a lot of thrust to weight ratio and can literally come in like a comet and stop. So I'm happy with that. But it does mean Oh, your old lander. This is the thing we're trying again so many times. You've got to start watching out for the space junk of previous attempts. I will laugh if you hit it. I'm keeping a much closer eye on my electrics this time. And now for the first time in daylight, my lunar craft. I hope you'll all agree, it looks really neat. Hope to God it works. A MUN injection, I believe they call that. Again, any advice heard from us is worth exactly what you pay for it. By the way, if you are paying for this, someone's conning you. I probably went the least efficient way to get to the maneuver node point there. Absolute least efficient way. Um, I've got no idea. No, I've got no idea. I have n not enough knowledge of how the hell I play this game to tell you that. Not how the hell the game is played. I've got no idea how I'm playing it. I'm just completely winging this. According to this, the estimated burn time is 13 seconds. But it changes every time I flash the engine. Yeah, yeah. I haven't started burning yet, but... I'm thinking I ought to. Let's bring up the control so that I can control the engines from this screen. Oh God, he's putting the lights on. <laughs> well, you must be all right for electric because you've got rockets on yours. My lander has I has little tiny rockets on it. I don't think they generate electric. So that's why I've got the solars. And fitting with the wind conditions, you've got to be able to take readings from the moon. I thought, I don't want to get caught on a technicality. So I'll make sure my lander has power and can always continue to take readings from the moon because I'll land it on the light side with solar panels. Look at my glorious theory. <laughs> I can't understand the maneuver node. I'm just going to keep burning in the direction I'm not burning because I've run out of fuel. Yep. Um, I think we might have that as a bonus condition, maybe. The original race was just to the moon. So we'll stick with that.
All right, I don't think... Oh, I'll get rid of this maneuver node. I do not understand them. I think that sort of maybe works. I don't know. The the blue the blue line goes towards the moon and then does seem to get captured. It, it seems to be a little bit behind it, but I can slow down. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll just accelerate to get to the moon. Though it doesn't look like I'm gonna catch it at all. It looks like the moon is well behind me. Well, well behind me. But I'm almost stopping in space now. What I'm doing now, in reality, is it's taking lots of pictures of the moon from quite close. That's that's the plan with this. That's the excuse I'm using. Right, I'm now in orbit with the moon. Well, no, I'm now... Why have I still got a curve in orbit there that I can see? I, I'm not being captured by the moon at all, so... I need to... find... a map view. No. Where's the moon? I can't see the moon. Can't see it. I'm going to have to work off the nav ball. Here, what? Oh, I've just spotted the moon. Oh, it was incredibly high, but I couldn't tell you. I am, however, having issues again. I'm having issues again, though. Um... I don't appear to have any control. I'm charged. Status is operational. There's a range? It never had any problems the other day. No, I've got fuel. I just don't appear to have any control of my craft. State operational. Oh, ha 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 ha. I had the time warp. I think I was still time warping. I was I was indeed. I was still time warping very slowly, so I was still slowly time warping, so I had no control. Yeah, I've worked out what I was doing wrong. Again, spacecraft is fine. It's pilot error. Right, so I'm now I'm now burning to bring this orbit around the moon. Not too worried about fuel at the moment. All I have to do is land. I've got plenty of fuel. This is very, very good. Though, yeah, you're about to win. Yeah, you're about to touch down. If you fall over, this is that's a saving grace. But unfortunately, mine hasn't gone as smoothly as it went the first time. So I was a little bit behind. You've got light, you've got shadowed. I'm time warping. Time warping. I'm coming up to the moon. I've got to land on the light side though, so. Go on, fall over. Go on. I'm tumbling. No, it's not it's gonna crash. Go on, crash, go on. Oh, you haven't. 
Oh, no, 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 no. You can't because it's curving, you idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, you are. Oh, so I'm going to carry on anyway. I'm going to put this entirely down to the fact that you launched before we before I was ready because I was tinkering. That's entirely what happened here. Oh, it's, it's, that's because that's your time on EVA. If you get back in, I think it resets. Damn. And you had the manned mission. You know, just because you're... You can confirm. It is made of cheese. It's a very strange colour cheese, but it is in fact made of cheese. Yeah, one of your practices you sent me during the day. Um, you managed to land, you managed to get out on EVA, and then you realised that you had no way of getting back into your pod. And I did laugh. All right. While I'm fighting with... I'm going to release the video. I'm going to edit it down to one episode and dub over it and whatever but the video of the first race to the moon where i'm now going to reveal if you hadn't worked out already that i won with a massive lead because he could not get off the planet with his first design not only did i make it to the moon and land he wasn't off ground on kerbin when i landed on the moon No, my mission criteria doesn't involve going home. Yeah, you'll have to make a 90 degree turn off the moon. I'm afraid I can't tell you in which direction. Oh yeah, well... I think it depends where you land. If you get him stuck in space, do I win because of forfeit? No, I don't, do I? I have to land this to redeem myself now. Before I do anything like landing, I've got to make sure... I have to make sure my solar panels have sun exposure. Yes, they do. Cool. Right, in which case... We're landing, gentlemen. People have just witnessed what I mean by the thrust-to-weight ratio on this lander. I just stopped. Absolutely dead. I'm hoping I'm not going to make that a literal thing. Yes, because you will be in the atmosphere. And it's not Earth, it's Kerbin. Right, I am about to, if I don't crash... Which it looks like I might, because I'm going awfully sideways, because the land beneath me is not level. But I slide, because these landing legs are ridiculously strong. These sonar panels have power. I'm going to turn the lights off. Oof. Yeah. I've landed. Look! 
look, I've landed. Whoop. I've landed, it's happy, the solar panels are in direct sunlight, and that is exactly what happened the first time we did this, where I handed your ass to you by being so much smoother, faster, more efficient, and then just bad luck and a late start has absolutely foiled me. The amount of fuel left on board the lander is just below half. So yes, I probably could get back to Kerbin with that. However, no, the lander was never designed to. I don't think with only half a tank of fuel I'd be able to decelerate and land on Kerbin. And I don't have a parachute. I didn't bring a parachute, it's never designed to go back to Kerbin. I haven't got enough fuel to go home. You've got no fuel. Right. What's the periaps? The periaps of Kerbin is a million meters. 11 million. You are never going home. Right, I think we're going to have to leave it there. I'm going to put in a video after this one of what happened the first time we did Race to the Moon. He has he has made it back in other attempts. It's pilot error normally, though in my case it's just bad luck, really. The first attempt I won, it was much smoother, much cleaner. He had a day to practice, learnt from his mistakes. I didn't. I modified my rocket and made it worse and then had to change it back. That slowed me down. And seriously, five minutes. If I'd have been a bit braver with time warp, I would have caught up. I've got a fair amount of debris. I think, <laughs> I think it might be a case of for each new race two we do, we start a new game. Because we're going to end up with so much debris, because doing it properly is not something that really comes into your head when you're racing. Oh. Kerbin. You'll never get the hang of that, will you? It's Kerbin. No, my, mine is quite happily sitting on the moon, acting as a communications relay and a solar photographer. I don't know. Call it a solar photographer and a communications relay on the moon. Whatever. It's here. It's safe. It's happy. I'm going to use this lander for anything we do because it's a superb little lander. All I have trouble with, all I have trouble with is the lifter. I need to get it off Kerbin without exploding. You've taken him out of the ship. No, 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 no. Hold on. My video's going to end here because that's the end of mine. I'm done. I've landed, but I'm never leaving again. Goodbye, guys. You, you, goodbye, guys. And I wholly recommend watching the end of his video because there is a Kerbal re-entering the atmosphere. <laughs> See you later. Right, I have ended my recording. But I am, I am aware that I am still on yours. I don't know if you I don't know if you would because if your periapsis was that high, you wouldn't have encountered it. It's probably the fact that the Kerbin has a jetpack. Pushing himself away from the craft probably put him in an orbit. You're gonna land in the water. Oof. Yeah. Right. 13 days. Right.